Brothers and sisters, the Lord, good morning. We are now on the Wednesday of the Octave of Easter. And our Gospel today is one of the appearances of Jesus since His res resurrection. And this is a common story of the twenty of two disciples on the road to the Mayus. In which, briefly, we have to recount once again what had happened on the road to Mayus. That they were not able to recognize Jesus at first. When they asked him, are you the only one, the only visitor to Jerusalem? who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days. And Jesus pretending, saying what sort of things. And they said the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene was a prophet, mighty indeed in word, before God and all people, how chief priests and rulers would hand him over the sentence of death and crucified him. But Jesus, did was. First, he started to quote and speak about the scriptures. He started to speak about the word and simply a table. He started to break the bread. As for blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his food of two disciples. And which, because of this, the two disciples realized after all it was Jesus to whom they are talking with. My dear brothers and sisters, the story of, of, of the two disciples on the road to Emmaus which reminds us of two important signs, two important symbols, two important uh, parts in which we speak about, we speak about the Eucharist. And this is the word and the bread. Our Lord Jesus Christ has reminded the two disciples in which they were able to realize that it was He talking to them after He broke the, he broke the, the word with them. He spoke the word with them. And secondly, they started to break the bread at the table, breaking the word, breaking, breaking the bread. In which my dear brothers and sisters, this is the Eucharist in which we celebrate. It is the breaking of the word, sharing of the word, and breaking of the bread, the Eucharist. My dear brothers and sisters, on this Wednesday of the Octave of Easter, we are once again reminded of the appearance of Jesus to the two disciples on returning to Amos. In which we are being reminded today that we are also reminded that our Lord Jesus Christ walks with us, he stays with us in our journey through life. But especially in this pandemic COVID-19. My brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ would like us also to realize after all that our belief in the resurrection of our Lord should not only a mere what we call leap of faith, not only a mere idea, not only a mere uh, what day celebration, but our Lord Jesus Christ is reminding us that our belief of His resurrection must remain in our mind, must remain in our hearts, and most especially must be present and concrete in our day-to-day -day living. The octave celebration of Easter, the wisdom and the very reason why there is an octave of the Easter celebration like eighth day is for us to see more, relinquish the resurrection of Jesus. Para po hindi po natin 
na hayaan na ang biyayang tinanggap po natin sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay ay may sasawalang bahala na parang walang nangyari. Kundi araw-araw mula sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay on, on, uh, on eight days we are to to savor the blessings of Easter and most especially to live the blessing of the Easter of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, para po that on these days on Mark ay nasa puso po natin, nasa isip po natin, lalong lalong lang na sinasagway po natin ang pagkabuhay ng ating party to all. Which is driving us away from evil. Which is driving us away from pessimism. Which is driving us away from negativity. Which is every day of this Easter season. It was a station in this octave of Easter. Buhay is Jesus. Sa ating puso. Sa ating isipan. Sa ating buhay. In which that we should also be and also make it felt by others by our life that indeed Christ is to the reason why I say so. Sa ato po, lagi po natin sinasabi, katulad ng dalawang alagad, na sinabi po nila kay Jesus, samahan mo po kami, stay with us, but still give me the days almost all. And let us always pray that we ask God protection and guidance to us. And most especially, let us always ask God, let us always ask Jesus, our reason for to stay with us to the days of our life.